What's going on guys? Today let's go over how to set up a subdomain for your Minecraft server. When you join a server, players have to enter an address to successfully make the connection. This process typically involves using numbers, but it can be changed to anything you want. Rather than typing an IP address port to join a Minecraft server, you can have a subdomain, which makes it a lot easier for players to remember. It's essentially a URL address, but linked to your server, but it doesn't come easy. It can get pretty complicated, so let's get started. There are two types of an IP address, dedicated and non-dedicated shared. These change how you configure and use a subdomain for Minecraft servers. Dedicated IP addresses make it easier for you to create a subdomain, as it doesn't require an SRV record. It's indicated by your Minecraft server's port, with 25565 being only for dedicated addresses. Anyone can purchase one from our pricing page, but it can also be bought by contacting our support team if you already have a server with us. Whether you have a dedicated or non-dedicated address, remember that these will be hidden after finishing the subdomain configuration. Whether you've purchased a domain with GoDaddy or another service, nearly all of them have the same DNS configurations. However, some providers might require you to contact them for portions of this process. Before starting, make sure to write down your IP address and port since it'll be used throughout this tutorial. Additionally, we'll be using GoDaddy for our purposes, but feel free to follow along below with another domain provider. Head to GoDaddy's products page and log in with your account information. And once you're here, you can find your desired domain for this process. Once you find this, click the DNS button near the left hand side. Click add new record near the top and continue to fill out these fields with type as a name as play or another word that you might want value as your numeric IP address without the port and TTL to one half hour or the default time. Once you finish, press the save button underneath. Now, if you have a shared domain, you'll need to do one more step in the DNS records category. Press the Add New Record button at the top. Change the type field to SRV, then fill out the following fields. Service as underscore Minecraft, protocol as underscore TCP, name as the exact name you typed in a record, value which will be that name dot your domain dot com, priority zero, weight zero, port as your server port and TTL one half hour or default. Once that's finished, click the save button at the bottom. After successfully creating a subdomain for your Minecraft server, simply connect with it to have fun with friends. For those who already joined the server before a subdomain was implemented, they will have to delete it from their list and re add it or they will continue to use your original IP and port. This isn't a huge problem, but it can be a security issue depending on your community. Domains help hide the actual address, resulting in a safer environment from malicious attackers. Now before we go over some common issues, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification button to stay up to date on all future videos. If you are unable to join the server, this could be because of incorrect records or changes that haven't been applied yet. Wait around 30 minutes to 24 hours for everything to properly work, depending on your domain provider. If you aren't sure if you need to make an SRV record, remember that if you have a dedicated server IP address, then you don't need to. But other than that, you will have to in order for everything to work. Subdomains aren't necessary, but they are something fun to add to help your players remember your server easier, and it's a plus that they can keep you protected too, so it doesn't hurt to give it a try. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.